Test, test. Okay, it works. So um, I I am going to talk a bit more because why not? And uh, um, I will talk about this experience, this situation with uh, that has to do with retrocausality. It has to do with math. It has to do with with this uh, this mostly, okay? Because it was a weird situation. He mentioned art, artistic. Uh, it made me think about the artistic susceptibility, and. I recognize it as an obvious provocation. You provoked me. It may it was intentional. And what did she do? Show so she actually created the the I would say that that, that she actually did it before me about the retrocausality, right? But <laughs> They say the devil is in the details, right? But so this is the thing. It it was an obvious provocation because in some sense he was right. In another in another in another sense he was wrong because sh the art stuff that that's my stuff and yeah o o obvious provocation and it made me open the comment section because. Uh, I was in request of some feedback. Uh, I felt confused, very confused about what he did. So he he, he managed to to made me open up a bit now. Um, okay. Um, so the the thing that is now is that. I did something that I wasn't supposed to do, guys. And what I wasn't supposed to do was not to to mistakenly say that I first came up with the idea of retrocausality. No. The thing that I wasn't supposed to do was to successfully do an um, introspection, I believe. Because I did an introspection here and I began from the idea of I am the sole creator of, no, not, not, I don't want to use that word. Uh, I am the creator of that idea of reticosality. I created uh, artistic susceptibility, which I most probably did. I don't think anyone else created that, the artistic susceptibility stuff. That's my stuff, and what he did, what Matt did, is is a bit of a burden now. Um, why? The reason is because I'm I'm good at introspection, as you can see. I can I can start from a, a, a point of view, and this this is why I in general know things. I I, I know this is why I all of a sudden stumble on the Philosopher's Stone, for example. Uh, because uh, you need to do introspection, you need to be able to start from a position, I am right, I did this, and then realize, no, I didn't, <laughs> you know? And this is what I did that I wasn't supposed to do. I wasn't supposed to successfully do introspection, where I was... Um, challenged by an idea that was provocative where in a mix of truth and lies uh, this mix of truth and lies it's actually called disinfo um, it is disinfo is a mix of truth and lies so um, this is the thing the ball falls back on him, you know. Sure, he 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 did, now he created a burden from for himself, right? Why? Why did he create a burden? Well, why did he provoke me, right? Was it to make me activate my comment section? I don't know. 
there is a good comment section here that I just I, I cancelled my own community I cancelled everyone just cut it off right anyhow there is a burden on, on him now because he did something bad also you know that's the thing he it was devious he, he was devious in what he did right a mix of truth and not truth so in, in a statement that I was supposed to fall into arrogance right into something that I actually did because I I, I, I am involved in this idea of artistic stuff and uh, I was supposed to think about that I guess and I wasn't supposed to, to solve it to solve this uh, but uh, now when I now when I'm past this I guess I am now when I'm over this I'm over the fact that I'm not the only one that thought about retro causality how I mean she she did it from a spiritual perspective I did it from more of a of a scientific I guess where I uh, in, in, but you know she she also did her stuff I am I'm, I'm not totally uh, understanding what she did but it has to do with more spiritual perspective her, her stuff um, Anyhow, uh, I'm eating tomatoes and cheese here. I'll eat some um, cheese first. Tomatoes. He has a lot to think about. That's what I'm trying to say. He has to think. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying what's on his mind now. He, he has a lot to think about. Why did he do this? Why? There is something, there is something unconscious here going on. This, it's just so weird to me. I don't think it was purely... Uh, dislike of me maybe he feels a, a, a certain degree of dislike of me because because like I come up with ideas and it's it's irritating I think for some as I do and yeah I, I believe so I'm a bit irritating in that way. Um, maybe he believes that he doesn't like me. But actually what happened is that maybe Matt helped me. Uh, maybe Matt helped me to open up the comment section. And there is a certain degree of, of fondness, you know. And he unconsciously maybe likes me but uh, on on the exterior on on the surface he feels something else on the surface I believe that he doesn't like me but inside he likes me and the problem now is that he has a burden of why was he motivated to express himself in this way um, and he has these questions to answer to himself, you know. Because I am a very small channel and he, he drew a sword towards me and didn't really challenge me because I'm a small channel, he's a large channel, he can... He can walk on me. He can change. He can change what's true. He can change what's um, seen as true. If if Matt says something, that's how it is. Because 
after a while things will just appropriate to to what the most popular guy is saying and everyone will have the same opinion about things uh, so um, what was his motivation for this it's this he, he he will have to face his unconscious is what I'm trying to say and he will have to decide does he love me or, or hate me does Matt love me or hate me he has to decide you know it's hard because I, I do talk about bad things maybe evil even evil things sometimes so it's hard to decide if you like me or not but you're faced with your unconscious that moved me maybe in a positive direction you know because you did you did lie a bit you did do that but you also spoke the truth at the same time you didn't expect me to successfully introspect on those two perspectives what i did and now the now now it's on you <laughs> you know uh, well and i'm a small channel so yeah okay see you guys another time we'll see maybe I'll keep the comment section open I will not I don't know if I will interact there, there is already starting to happen some happening some problems maybe I will interact a bit but there are some problems already starting you know but We'll see, we'll see. I, it, it's hard to say. I, I, I don't think I'm, I'm that sensitive to, to haters and that. It's, it's just, there's so many things to think about when it comes to a comment section. And it's hard to, with all these different things, some people is uh, yeah I don't know how to explain it it's not easy with the comment section I promise you okay we'll see we'll see see you guys bye